Okay, thanks for checking in. I'm finally making that video uh, that I mentioned maybe a couple of videos back when I was going through a product to make my ultimate EDC tool pouch, okay? I normally carry a knife on me, so didn't really need it, okay? I own Leatherman, two of them. This one is the Wave Plus, okay? And a lot of the ingredients from my little kit that I put together could you do it with this? Yeah, but I mean, trust me, I'm just not as astute with the Leatherman as maybe other other guys. It's a great multi-tool. Again, I have two of them. One's in my truck. One I keep around. I use it, all right? But again, I carry a knife with me all the time, and I just wanted tools. Like when I'm fixing things around the house, I don't want to drag around a bag with a bunch of tools, screwdrivers, wrenches, you name it because some of my projects are pretty simple and I don't need to bring out uh, you know all the bigger tools so again I have a couple different manufacturers that are coming together to make this kit I've already done a couple videos on the products in this kit too so if you want to go back and refer to uh, you know some sizes other things that I mentioned about it please do this is just kind of an overview on something that I found that, I don't know, might work for you. You're camping, throw it in your truck. Again, just light duty repairs around the house, okay? I got plenty of other tools um, to do things, but sometimes you just need the smaller ones and I think I uh, found a good group. So stay tuned, I'll go over it in a second. Okay, let's just start out by what you see immediately, Knipix, okay? I did a video on, well, this kit, that came with two wrenches, all right? And they're both the excess made by Knipix. This one is the Cobra, okay? Only four inches. These things are sweet, all right? I did a video on uh, the grips, a DIY, DIY, I'm sorry. And I used uh, heat shrink tubing. And in that video, you could tell that I put the face down, I guess, where the numbers are. And uh, as you can see, they're gone. I noticed with using it, I kind of looked down and half the numbers were gone. So I just kept on rubbing and they came off within about five seconds. So kind of cleans it up a little bit, right? All right. So as you can see, very similar in height with maybe a little wider than the Leatherman. But again, it's the tools. I'm not really great with the screwdriver and everything. I mean, it comes in handy, but I wanted something to be more like your regular tools that you use day in, day out. So the Knipix case, it wasn't a big selling point for me when I first bought it, but I'm telling you what, I love it now, all right? So some of the ingredients, like I mentioned, are from different manufacturers, but let's open it up. So the case, you can just put that right there so it's open and that attaches to your belt, right? And as you can see, I have one of the Knipix wrenches. This is the excess water pump. Wait, no, I'm sorry. It's just the excess pliers, okay? Comes in super handy. Works great, okay? So that fits in there. Now, you can see also I do have the Wura 813R, okay? This one here is just... You know, it's basically your bit holder screwdriver. It holds the quarter inch bits. Very nice in the hand. Quick release. And also when you, you know, put an attachment in there, you can go to town. Got something to hold. It's very nice. And again, the biggest thing, it fits right in there snug. All right. So we got that. Next, let's just get this thing out of here. This is the old light flashlight. Now, sometimes you just need a light. Well, it fits in there perfectly. Now, if you don't need a light, I do carry a knife on me every day. I did find an alternative. If you need a knife and you don't carry one on you, the Tough Light Mini, okay? This thing fits sweet right in here, okay? So that would be an alternative if you didn't need a flashlight, all right? Last but not least, we have the Weeha Bits. Okay, in this tiny case, which is sweet. I mean, like I said, it fits right down in there. You can tell there's a divider. Could I put both wrenches with this in there? 
Yeah, possibly, but it's just, it's too tight. But this thing fits in there perfectly. Did a video on this. So go back if you want more information. But right there, you know, you got this little guy. You got to run up, hit yourself a screw. Bammo. Right there. Easy to use. This thing is sweet. All right. So, again, you can put together whatever you want. With this, again, it works with any, you know, bits that will fit in this size, even if it's not Weeha. So, yeah, hope this helps you. You know, um, I found all these online, and I will um, put the links in the description. So if you're interested, uh, please do. Oh, one last thing. Hey, if you're interested in these mini tools, check these guys out on... YouTube, last best tool with Doc. I enjoy his videos. They're great. I can't pronounce this one. I think it's French. He he doesn't talk, but I love his videos, and he's very big into micro tools. And if you love Leatherman and all that other kind of stuff, please check those guys out, because I do. And uh, most of this I got from them to put this together. So, again, thanks for watching.